And a great Saturday morning to you. I'm Keith Landry, and I thank you for waking up and joining us for Orlando Matters this morning. And we're going to talk about the economy and jobs and that American spirit of entrepreneurship. The National Entrepreneur Center, Jerry Ross, is with us this Saturday morning. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. How long have you been the head of the National Entrepreneur Center? Uh, just uh, over five years now. About five years now. Wow. That's right. Imagine how many jobs you've helped create through the years. It's been exciting. What is, of course, it was formerly uh, sponsored by Disney, but what is the National Entrepreneur Center known for? What, what do they do? What's its mission for people who are just tuning in this morning? Well, we have 11 organizations. Uh, all under one roof, a single stop, mm -hmm. uh, with a single mission, and that's to help small businesses grow here mm -hmm. in Central Florida. And so it's unique in that you can come to, to Fashion Square Mall, which mm -hmm. is, we've just been there a year, mm -hmm. uh, and visit with several different organizations that can help you grow your business uh, through business planning, uh, marketing plans, education, free coaching, uh, to accelerate the small businesses of Central Florida, which are so critical to our economy. It's pretty much everything you need right there. That's right. Pretty much. Uh, free coaching uh, for folks that say, you know, I'm, I'm uh, facing a challenge or mm -hmm. sometimes even a growth challenge, which mm -hmm. presents some different kind of issues. Uh, and then folks that say, I need some education. I know a lot about my industry, uh, but maybe I need to know uh, quick looks or I need to know mm -hmm. how to market a little better. And then we have networking events and specialty programs all the time. So there's always going something, something going on for small business. What if somebody has an idea for a business? Maybe they have some uh, expertise in the field and they say, I'm going to go out on my own. Finally, I'm going to start a business. Can they get help with a business plan there? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and first of all, to come and kind of flesh out that idea to yeah. say is, you know, not all ideas are good ones. <laughs> let's <laughs> test it before we lose the life savings. <laughs> let's, let's talk to someone about that and then to find out what's involved in getting incorporated and, and some of the uh, aspects of how to start a business, but then uh, they can meet with either SCORE or the Small Business Development Center. Mm -hmm. uh, we have business plan software in the center that people can pull up sample business plans to see what others ah. have done in that industry, but also to start to, to plug in numbers to say, if I was to do this, uh, how would that kind of play out and what would that look like? There's also some resources uh, that can say, what have other businesses done? What would be an average of of sales for other businesses in that industry. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a, a resource on the computer that says what other competitors are out there in the area. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a resource of uh, wow. lots of aspects of a business that helps you make a good decision. Taking the guessing out of it so you have full information. <laughs> as much as we can. That is awesome. Okay. Well, we know that 90% of the businesses in Florida are small businesses. They are essentially the backbone of our economy in Florida. That's true. What are you telling folks these days? They've been struggling for the last few years. What do you tell them now? Well, we're telling them that uh, over the last two years, it's been very difficult. Mm -hmm. and, and that's also uh, made it very difficult to get uh, capital. Mm -hmm. And some small businesses used to look at their house to get a line of credit yeah. as, as the capital to start their business. And with house values decreasing, that's even become more difficult. Mm -hmm. And so what we've said is you have to be uh, uh, more thoughtful before you go in to mm -hmm. make sure that there is a market for what you do and that you can make a profit. For those folks that are in, uh, some of the folks uh, through the last few years have, have gone away. Their businesses mm -hmm. have closed. Yeah. And so th that's sad, uh, that's hard, to deal with, but for those businesses that remain and can get through that, uh, there will be more business for them once the uncertainty in the market is gone. Mm -hmm. And so there's uncertainty in the marketplace in, in the tax structure, mm -hmm. uh, health care costs. Now with the election, folks sure. are saying, maybe I should wait and, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And so there's like a big pause button that's mm -hmm. been hit. And so <laughs> what we say is that people are still buying. Uh, I still go out to eat. I still get my hair cut. Sure. Uh, so there are products and services still uh, exchanging hands and so if you can make it through this time sure. uh, when things do turn around when the uncertainty in the marketplace is gone uh, you'll be stronger and better positioned to to grow your business. All right, tell us a little bit about international business because you, you do a lot of focus on that. Uh, we do because mm -hmm. there's the District Export Council is here mm -hmm. uh, which are uh, seven people who have been appointed by the Secretary of Commerce to help Central Florida deal with exports. Mm -hmm. uh, exports has taken on a, a, a higher profile with the Obama administration mm -hmm. to say uh, how can we increase sales overseas and but that's kind of a difficult market to get in and so what we've done is to to start holding seminars on 
what are the, the challenges to exporting? Uh, we have a seminar coming up that's mm. uh, export compliance. You know, mm. how do you comply with all of those regulations? <laughs> uh, but at the same time, Mayor Jacobs hosted a exporting to Brazil event mm -hmm. at the center. Uh, we recently had an export to China event. Mm. And so we're engaging folks to say, come on, let's talk about this. Uh, let's bring in some experts because it's not so easy. Uh, and then accelerate anyone that, that has an opportunity for selling overseas to engage in that. With the widening of the Panama Canal mm -hmm. and the free trade agreements that just happened, uh, that's created more interest in, in exploring some of the overseas markets. And in a tough economy, uh, that's another place to grow the, the, the sales of your organization. Have to look for those avenues. You have a book. This is a very new book you've just come out with. It's called Business Shorts. I do. Why did you write it and what will folks find in there? Well, uh, first of all, I wrote it because it started as a blog and mm -hmm. people would follow my blog and, and enjoy that. And some of them were funny and some of them were just taken from everyday encounters in business to say, uh, what business lesson could we learn from this? And so uh, people started reading it and following it, which was kind of a surprise. Uh -huh. And then I, <laughs> I speak around uh, at different business conventions and people would come up and say, do you have a book? Uh -huh. And so the idea came uh, to say, why don't we put some of these blogs together, write some new ones, and, and insert them, because who has time to read? Right. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's it's a quick book. It's a short book. It's a, we it's, like that. <laughs> every story is very short. There's about 50 <laughs> stories in it that are very short, and uh, so that's why we call it Business Shorts. It's something that you could quickly read and then go into the office and apply. And mm -hmm. so uh, from customer service and sales to, to just how do you deal with a bad day? Mm. Uh, are kind of the, the daily encounters that we all have, mm -hmm. uh, but when you can apply that to business and, and uh, grow the business, then, then it's uh, good for everybody. So where can folks get the book? Uh, you can get it at Amazon, uh, the okay. e-book, mm -hmm. uh, or Jerry Ross Online is my, my speaker site where I actually sell the book, uh, but it should be in the bookstores by the fall. All right, and what's, uh, what's ahead for the rest of the year for the National Entrepreneur Center? We have uh, several, there's always, uh, events coming up. Mm -hmm. Our export compliance event is coming up. Uh, we also have one on intellectual property, protecting your intellectual property overseas. Uh, the Small Business Development Center, SCORE and HBIF are always doing educational programs from how to start a business to business planning. And then there's several programs, uh, the SBDC, the Small Business Development Center mm -hmm. at UCF, has uh, advisory boards and, and we have uh, programs to help people get through the planning process. So uh, if they go to the website, which is nationalec.org, mm -hmm. uh, they can go to the calendar and, and keep up with all the events because uh, the more people that we have through there, the stronger our economy. All right, Jerry Ross with the National Entrepreneur Center. Good luck with this year and good luck with the book. Thank you so much. You I bet. appreciate you giving me the opportunity. Absolutely, today. my pleasure. We're gonna take a quick break. Orlando Matters continues after this.